What is up guys, Apathy back in the building. It's been a long time, but I've been asked recently to make a paint job video on this uh, specific camo. It's very similar to my Black Ops 3 camo that I had back in the day. A lot of people asked me to do that as well, but I never did it. But finally, for the first time, I'm doing my first paint job tutorial. It's a really nice red and blue, light blue, teal, whatever you want to call it, fade. Uh, I really like this camo. It's really clean. So I'm going to try my best to, just to, to, to do the tutorial and show you guys. I'm not. The, this is my first time doing this, okay? So I'm, I'm not be the best at this, but it's it's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy and very easy camel to make. All right, just to show you how simple it is, we're gonna be using two of these on the front side or the side you see the most. Uh, we're gonna be using three in the back, even though this is not really noticeable. And then we're gonna be using four on the top side to give it different variation of colors. So let's begin. So we got the blind PPSH. First thing first, you got to put this pattern right here. It looks like a cracked tile, I guess the best way to describe it. Um, then you're going to spread it out, spread it out. Now you could, you see, like you can put it how you want. Obviously you want to make it look pretty cool. So you kind of want to have the cracks sort of like this. Then we got to pick the color. Where is this color? I, I suck. I suck at the color pickers. So we're gonna do um we're gonna talk we're gonna hit the middle button to toggle for gradient because you obviously want two colors. The first one you're gonna go like one of these two teals or light blue, whatever you want to call it, and then red. Usually you wanna have like this see the teal is too strong in this one. So this one usually is the better one. Give it a little bit stronger red. I like to put the red a little bit stronger in the end. Usually like a 60 49 spread or 60 50. You can even do like 58. Then after you're done with that, now we're going to copy this one. Um, okay, enter. Where's the copy? Copy layer, post. Well, all we're going to do here is flip it, right? But obviously you can't even notice it. So we're going to get broke, break it down a little bit, right? So it's very simple. So we did the first one. Um, then all you're doing is copying it and then just posting the next one can make it a little bit okay no uh, sometimes i have trouble i'm just really like I, I want perfection when i'm doing this you could do it like that that's fine so now we have the two colors on one side and then obviously you want um you could you could mess with the gradient like if you want the red more the red less like I, I'm giving you like the the way to make the camo, but in the end of the day, you can perfect the camo to how you want exactly to look, right? Like, I mess a lot with the colors. Like, I try to give a good like. Usually, see for this for this um for the second one to like kind of go with the blue. I'll put left offset. I'll put like 52, 50. That way, it, like fades in kind of better than it would if I the red was so dark. Let me show you guys. So you can see it's very similar. Um. The only difference is for the for this one I made them I made the first one really big and the second one smaller, but it's very similar. So that's kind of like the base. Then all you have to do is very simple. Hit hit the middle button again. Copy. Now we're going to flip. We're just going to paste. Paste. Paste copy and paste is your best friend here. This side is not you don't really is copy again, paste. You don't really see this side, but obviously if you want the gun to, to fill out so that's why this this side I do it pretty sloppy. I don't care. I just I just fill it up, um, pretty much, as as how you want it. You can even flip this right here. Nah, that's trash. She looks trash. She looks trashy. Put it right here. So, uh, I made mine pretty good just because I want it to be good on both sides. But you can just simply leave it like that just to have the color. And then, now you do the same thing. Just copy. Go to the top part, paste, 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 paste. Well, actually, you only need four. So now this part, you got to make sure you do it right. So I don't even know where this is. Okay, there it is. So so it automatically it's sideways, right? You're gonna you want you're gonna want to flip it forward. So obviously use L2 and R2 to move it around. You're, you're gonna want to move it forward here. So now you just want the colors. You can like minimize it a little bit so the colors uh, pop out more, sort of like this. And now you just want to, you want to just make sure the colors are going right. Like you want to do red, blue, red, blue, red, blue kind of thing. If I, I don't even know where this thing is at. Okay, it's over here. Jesus, I made that huge. So now we're going to start with red again. Put it right there. Wait, that's a little bit. There we go. 
Let me get a little closer. Then, up, uh, next. Now we start with red again. So like I said, when you're doing this, um, you you can perfect it. Like, the first one I made, I worked, like, I worked, I took a little bit extra time to make sure, like, the little, the little things, like, if you want the design, because, like, you, you control the design. I think I need one more. Yeah. For this one. So, bam. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. That's it. It's done. But, like, you can control how you want it to look to your exact. So, there you have it. It's a nice, like, cracked blue, red fade looking camo. It looks really nice. Like, you can have, like, the cracks how you want it. You can make it bigger. You can make them smaller. So, this is the this is the original one I had. Um, it looks it looks slightly better than this one. But, like I said, it's just because the, mainly the base part, I... This is the one I just made. I like the top part a little better, though. The top on the barrel looks cooler. But this one, I think the base looks cleaner. But, actually, I might like this one more now. <laughs> oh, this one looks pretty clean. But, yeah, guys, you can make it however you want. Um, I get, it's very easy. You just saw what I did. It's basically using that same thing, making the fade, uh, the blue and red. And then all you have to do is copy, paste, copy, paste it. Make sure you're putting it in the exact, in the, in the right spot. But overall, I mean, it's very easy to make and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me, let me give it a real, a real quick preview. Yeah. So this one came out really, this one looks like more out there. I don't know what I did, but maybe cause I made, I made the base a little bigger or something like that. This one actually. So this one might look a little cleaner. I don't know. But that's how you do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate the support. I'm going to try to up start uploading YouTube again, you know, here and there every couple days or so. I'm going to try to be posting. And make sure to tune into my stream. I stream almost every day. Twitch.tv slash apathy. I'll be there. Come say hi. What's up? This has been your boy, Apathy. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good everything. Peace out. Much love. Much respect.